uh, difference between uh, the different blueprint classes like actor class, font class, character class with example, when to use which class. I think I have clearly mentioned that in the lecture, but I can uh, show you with the example as well. So uh, let me just quickly open up any project. But I have clearly mentioned the difference between all the blueprint classes in the lecture. So I hope that you are clearly watching the lectures. Starting with, I can just, uh, you know, for now, I just tell you what are the difference between blueprint classes. So blueprints are actually C++. Okay. The C++ code is converted into the blueprint. Yeah. The code blocks that you see, the print block and all other nodes. Those are actually C++ classes and functions. Okay. So uh, the normal class, right? Let me open the project. Okay. So an actor class is the base class for the character class and the font class as well. Yeah. But you won't see that directly inside uh, the Unreal Engine. Okay. So uh, let this open. Just take two seconds. Mm. All right. I hope you guys can see this screen as well. Okay. If I go to the blueprint classes you will see the definitions over here as well right in the normal actor class is an object that can be placed or spawned in the world right a pawn class is an actor that can be possessed or receive input from the controller character class a type of pawn that includes the ability to walk around okay i'll explain you with an example as well if you click on all classes you see there are a lot of classes are there like you can just open the drop down menu and it is like a lot of them right these are all c++ classes which you can use as a blueprint so if i take a normal actor class yeah and i take a pawn class over here and another one is a character class okay and then i'll save all three of them a normal actor class what is expected behavior from an actor class is it will be a simple static mesh yeah anything in actor class will be a simple mesh which is not expected to move right for example these uh like this thing i mean it is a simple static mesh but if you want to add a functionality of the static mesh you need to create a blueprint right so like that like these uh walls over here they don't need to move but even if you want to add a functionality in them then what can you do is you can use a actor class blueprint for this wall right like suppose this thing so these things can be used in an actor class the class which is meant to be static but still you want it to have some functionality with it that will be an actor class next is a pawn class what does the pawn class do right have you seen a game uh it is like prop hunt i think you guys have seen that game a uh, hide and seek prop hunt kind of game what happens in that game is when you just start right and uh when you press any key you you can possess that uh suppose what i will do i'll add a static mesh in this okay like a cylinder okay i've added a static mesh okay uh, by default this static mesh is set to movable in here and i suppose if i add a cube in here it might not okay it is set to movable maybe it's in the recent version of until i'm using until 5.1 but yeah the normal actor class it is static right but the pawn class it has to be set to movable okay so right now this is over here 
okay so in the actor class what i can do is i can switch my controllers from this character to this thing the cylinder over here okay that thing i can do whereas i cannot switch my controllers from this character to this cube okay that's the difference between that and why was the pawn class created if you go to the world settings right here you will be able to see the pawn classes right new blueprint 2 whereas i don't think you are able to see normal new blueprint i'll just rename this uh actor yeah i'll rename this all right so over here you will be able to see pawn blueprint whereas you are not able to see the actor blueprint why because it is default pawn class so you want to possess that right so suppose i write pawn blueprint so right now i am in the pawn blueprint this one so i can open this i can add a camera in this yeah then i can you know move this camera i can add the functionality in that now if i press play now the camera is switched to the pawn class camera right and then i can add any functionality to it but it is not a character class okay now i'll tell you the difference between the character class and the pawn class okay so i hope you got the difference between an actor class and the pawn class okay actor class cannot be possessed and it cannot be seen over here right in the world settings which is necessary for the game okay i'll switch back to the third person character now you see the character is it so uh the character blueprint you will see the character blueprint actually has a character movement component which is a c++ inherited source if we click uh just look over here c++ inherited it is located uh written right over here inherited c++ like in the c++ they have mentioned all the functionality for the character to work okay so here are all the character properties you can see jump velocity maximum height friction speed most of the things that is necessary for the character to work is already here okay so character class is an actor class but it has some functionality specific for the character related okay so that's the difference between the actor class pawn class and the character class